Joe Collins is in the Stoot Stoot Studio, singing his greatest hits, talking about his public divorce. It was like a nightmare. And look who's on drums. You've been practicing. You've been practicing. Next. <laughs> music over the years. How about that for a segue? Phil Collins is here to perform some of our all-time favorite hits. Here's his personal favorite. Remember this one? Thanks, kids. Thanks. <laughs> Sings his greatest hit in our stu -stu studio. studio. And we're talking about his divorce. It was like a nightmare. And he's given me my first drum lesson. You've been practicing. You've been practicing. <laughs> we'll be right back. Today, Sprint Canada unveiled. Well, now, we're glad about our next guest being here. Because Phil Collins is one of the world's best-selling male singers, and he's been hailed as one of rock's greatest drummers. During his impressive career, he's sold more than 200 million records, and he's here today to perform some of his all-time greatest hits for us. Please welcome Mr. Phil Collins! <laughs>
breakup of his marriage, even an angry letter, he faxed to his wife, ended up in the newspapers. Whoop! But first, here's one of Phil's hits with the group Genesis that we all can dance to and can sing to. Right! Do you feel this way about his music? His music makes you happy. Yeah. I always play it when I'm driving my red convertible and I'm feeling very, very happy about myself. And what is so, so, what does Sut Sut Studio mean? Or do, was it just something you made up? I yeah, guess. it doesn't really mean anything, actually. Uh, I, the way I write words is that I, I would just sing. I, I work on my own home studio and I just sing and, and whatever comes out, if it makes sense, I'll use it. And if it doesn't make sense, I'll try and think of something that it sounds like. And studio was a word that... Oh, really? Because yeah. I, I, for, for a long time I was saying, Stu, Stu, Studio! Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to that. be. I tried that, but... It doesn't no, work. My, my daughter's got a horse called Studio now. So oh, really? I think people have got children called Studio. It's become... We hope it's... not. <laughs> we hope not. Studio. Studio. Okay, let's get the fax thing out of the way. Mm -hmm. You sent a fax to your wife. Um, yes, I, I did. Uh, the fax was written as a result. Well, let me explain what we're talking about first. Okay. What we're talking about is that you sent a fax to your wife really asking for a divorce no. or asking, to, explaining to her that asking you... Asking if she wouldn't stop, if she'd stop putting the phone down on me so I could talk about when I could see my daughter. Okay. That was what the fax was about. Um, the English media took the fact that, the, that they took the word fax and divorce and said that I faxed her for divorce. Now, I, I mean, anybody, no one here knows me, but... I'm sorry, you know, that's not something that I would do, anybody would do. I mean, I, I, I find it's, it's, it's well, such question, an incredible thing to suggest. My question is, okay, so this letter, this letter that was obviously a personal letter to your wife, yeah. 
ends up in the newspaper. Mm. How does that happen? Well, that's something that we'll never know. Did you send it to the wrong fax no, number? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, this, this, is, this is a real bone of contention. I mean, I have to say, you know, like we're talking about this. I was very happily married for a long time, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then things go wrong. And of course, you know, when things go wrong, you try and put your life right. I have put my life right. And, and my ex-wife is fine too, you know. We get on very well. My girlfriend gets on very well with my ex-wife. Really? L Lily, my daughter, loves them both. Um, Everybody's making a big deal about, um, you know, your girlfriend being very young. I think you should be with whoever you want to be with as long as they are of a legal hey. age. I really do. <laughs> legal age. What is she, 20-something? 24. 24. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it never comes up. You know, it, it never, it has never been any, anything that we've thought of. It's only things that we've read that pe other people have thought of. This shouldn't work. You know, because women my age who are, uh, you know, I'm not telling you my age, but anyway, women <laughs> my age uh, say, what do you talk about with her? I asked this of a friend of mine who yeah. um, dates women, too, who are like 40 years younger, and he said, there's not a whole lot of talking going on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because of my age, we talk an awful lot. <laughs> we have to, we talk, about once a week we don't talk. On a Saturday night we don't talk. On a Saturday night we don't talk. Okay. <laughs> is that a, are, you, are you wearing a wedding ring? Is that a wedding ring? No, no, this is, this is a commitment ring, really. That's nice. Just a commitment. I'm not going anywhere else. Okay. With yeah. her, that's I'm good. I'm staying with her, yeah. Really? But you're not going to marry or you don't know? Uh, we, may, we may well get married, yeah. You I'm know. just asking you this stuff because people want to know. Because I think, do whatever you want to do, Phil. It's yeah, fine. You know, I mean, it's... I'm just going to listen to your music, you know? I'm, I really yeah. don't care Ult about ultimately, your personal ultimately, that's, Yeah, ultimately, it's... Um, I am, you know, I was happy, I wasn't, now I am. And uh, you can't and chart so your life. And so the ex-wife and the new girlfriend get along and Lily gets along with everybody and that's all that really matters. There are matters. no casualties. There are no this, casualties. This is, what, this is the most important thing to me. There are no casualties. I didn't want to make anybody unhappy. I didn't want to make anybody upset. I didn't want to ruin anybody's life. I just... You have... When things are wrong, you've got to fix it. And you, and you have to do... Go where your heart... You know. I'm it's something that only, the, only the thing that it happens, only the, the person it, it happens, happens to will ever understand. Well, first of all, it's happened to everybody, but if you're like Phil Collins or you're a public person, then it mm. gets all blown out. I understand that, yeah. very much so. Well, Phil is currently on tour performing to sold-out audiences across America. He gave us an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at his life on the road, Phil did. Come on back, and I'll show you around. This is where I live, a nice spacious apartment. I have a selection of drinks for my guests. I have my TV. I have it up high because that way I can walk underneath it, see? Which is perfect for me. This is the phone number if anybody wants to call me. And this is my, this is my staff. Very exciting. Pants, socks. These are my tap shoes. And you thought life on the road wasn't glamorous. Well, that's all I got to say about that. The doors are open. Get ready. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And the fans are going crazy. Who's up there, anybody? 19,000 people. Okay. Oh, no! Normally it's all scotch and gin, but now the cameras are on, it's all a healthy. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you can't look. It's me. You didn't recognize me, did you? Let's be honest. One last warm up. <laughs> and it's time for the show. Okay, wait a minute. 
it's you know what it is i'm not very coordinated and it is harder than i thought but i just it always seemed like an easy thing to do but just sitting here for the first time it was the first time i ever hit a drum in my entire yeah. life well it's, first of all you gotta learn to hit it hard you would hit yeah. hit it harder so if you did uh, no, everybody like usually wants to know how to do that it's like it's like yeah mind your foot okay do that that's okay. in the air tonight, right? So if yeah. you do that. Okay. So butter. You've been practicing. You've been practicing. First time ever. Oh, God, that's great. Okay, thanks. That is great. And now Ricky Lawson, the real drummer, is yeah, going to take over, over yeah. as Phil performs his current hit, It's In Your Eyes, from his new CD, Dancing to the Light. There we go. to journal and we'll find out what he wrote next. At a recent meeting, we gave, we gave you a, a, a gratitude journal in yes. honor of Gratitude Day and you kept a gratitude journal for a day anyway. I just had it today. I mean, I, you know, what are you grateful for? Well, there's lots of things I'm grateful for. But um, <clears throat> I wrote in it, I will be eternally grateful for being able to do what I do, to love what I do, and to have even one other person enjoy it and be moved by it. One? <laughs> That's what 
thank you. On a regular basis, we're going to take time on our show to share a gratitude moment, so start your gratitude journals today. Phil CD is called Dance into the Light, and he was kind enough to put one under every seat for everyone here. And so, we thank you, Phil. Thank you. Stay at the All Sweet Up the Hotel, located in the heart of Chicago's magnificent mile. Guests fly our official carrier, American Airlines. American and American Eagle provide service to dozens of warm destinations in Florida, Mexico, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean. American Airlines, something special for the sun.